Assalamu alaikum. This is a case where we have a patient. Uh, he where we are at the point where we're going to record the buccal corridor and the labial fullness. But one note that this patient has a class three profile. Okay, the student told me that he added two layers. I'm telling him add more. Why? If I'm going to place the ruler lightly, can you give me the ruler, please? If I'm going to place the ruler lightly on here. Okay, don't compress it. If you compress it, you're going to change the relationship. Just simply touch the upper nose, okay? So look here, you have some space. So he said, I added two layers, even though you're going to add more because this is a class three profile. So class three profile, that means you're going to overfill the upper in comparison with another patient, for example. If even you take this out, you will find that the wax is bulging outside the base plate. But this is the case, you have to compensate, okay? The second point I want you to notice is the buccal corridor, okay? اضحك شوي لو سمحت زيادة هيك اضحك كمان 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 هو مفروض يكون حضر لك ثلاث نكات. We have we should have jokes in our toolbox. So if a heap smiles like this, you find that the mandibular teeth are uh, are uh, spread buccally. Why? Because the this is a class three. The mandible is advanced, so the body of the mandible is closer to the front. That means the wide area of the mandible is closer to the front. What will happen with the teeth? They're wide. Okay? So we have two ways of compensating this. Now, I want to one way is that I'm going to keep the buccal corridor and produce a reverse bite in the posterior teeth. So the functional cusp will become the buccal of the upper and the lingual of the lower. This is one of the compensations. If I have enough space, if I have a, a, a buccal corridor, buccal to the lower teeth, if I have enough buccal corridor, I will add more wax buccally to the upper teeth and make the correct overjet. But the idea, I will not make it edge to edge. Why? Because if I do so, I can intercuspate upper and lower teeth edge to edge almost, but what will happen? You will have a cheek biting. You should have a horizontal overjet between the upper and lower molars to, of, to move the cheek away from the biting plane. Okay? So, this case, what are we going to take? Maratania. Idhak al akhir, please. Idhak, idhak, kaman, kaman, kaman. Notice there is no buccal corridor. If I'm going to change the buccal corridor here and add wax, I will be, there will be no, no buccal corridor in the upper. I will be outside the, the ridge. Okay? And what will happen to the magazine if you're outside the ridge? Look here. What will happen if I'm going to follow this, see how wide the mandible is, see how wide the mandibular teeth are. I'm go imagine you're going to set more beyond that. What will happen? The teeth will be set over here, over the sulcus, not, on, not supported by the ridge. What will happen here? Rocking. There is no vertical support. What will happen? When he bites here, it rocks, it rocks. So he has a small mandible in comparison with a very, uh, sorry, small maxilla in comparison with a very large mandible. So what are we going to do? We're going to produce the edge, uh, the smile uh, profile with one millimeter overjet of bite anteriorly. Then once we move to the posterior teeth, we're going to shift the upper teeth biting on the reverse bite, meaning that I'm going to bite with a functional cusp being the lower lingual and the upper buccal. Okay, so the teeth will be narrower. This arch will be narrower. This is a beautiful case I wanted to show you on how to decide if I'm going to follow the mandibular lower teeth or not. So my decision here was based on the buccal corridor. The buccal corridor, there is no buccal corridor opposite to the lower teeth. That means the teeth are so wide. If I'm going to follow with the upper as well, going more buccally, I will lose the buccal corridor and I will find my teeth set outside the ridge and setting outside the ridge is not stable and not functional. You can function for a while, but you will get rocking or you will get later on a mid-palatal mid fracture because of the flexure that keeps happening, okay? Because it's not supported. Thank you.